turnovers were ridiculous. Um, another big one to me was, and I'd be interested to see what it looked like on TV, but the onside kick that Georgia Tech had to start the game or start the second half and, you know, have two special teams players there for Florida State. And I, I, I don't know if they didn't – sorry, the light is real bad. I don't know if they didn't know if the ball had been touched or they didn't think it had gone 10 yards or what exactly was going on in that situation. But, you know, he just backs away almost as to not touch the ball and just lets three Georgia Tech players jump on the ball. And, you know, the botched uh, snap on the third and one that led to Georgia Tech getting the ball down, got them their, their field goal, and then the onside kick started the second half. That's what let them get down there to get their touchdown. Um, and obviously they ended up with 16, but there are 10 points that came against the first team defense um, were those points. And and, uh, and honestly, that was the best field position that Georgia Tech had both times. And one was to blame on the special teams and the other was on the offense. So, so the defense on the whole, I definitely felt like was the star of the game. Now, now not to take away, there were some good offensive moments um the 68 yard touchdown to johnny wilson that one-handed catch you know johnny just seems to continue to be the big playmaker um and when he does get the ball it is electric it is uh exciting and you know we saw in the clemson game you know we were really forcing to get him the ball uh to the point that in situations where we probably should have been running inside the five yard line we're just continuing to throw it to him on uh, out routes or, um, you know, post routes and try and get him over in the corner, um, whatever we could do. And, and, and they definitely connected a few times today. I'd be interested on some of your thoughts on some comments. You know, one thing that I definitely heard a lot of at the stadium was there was a lot of people that thought Travis just looked pretty horrible today. I, I kind of feel like since the Louisville game, he hasn't quite been the same. And I don't know if he is uh, maybe still nursing a little bit of an injury or if he is uh, scared to get hurt again. But the, the the Jordan Travis we saw in that LSU game and the the confidence, the standing in the pocket, the just – surety that he had himself that I just don't feel like we had seen in the last couple of years. I, I don't feel like he's quite gone back to maybe where he was, say, in 2020, um, where, where you could tell very athletic but just didn't have the confidence yet. But he, he does not have the composure that he did in that LSU game. And I, I'm curious as to maybe some of your guys' thoughts as to why that's happened. Um, 